Hey guys, welcome back to Andrew the Cuber. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a plus 16 in a Rubik's Cube solve. So to explain what that means, I have to explain what a plus 2 is. A plus 2 means a 2 second penalty added onto your solve and there can be a number of reasons for this. The most common plus 2 is when you're one off, when you're one move off of solving the cube, uh, you're added 2 seconds onto your time. If it is more than one move, then you get a DNF, which means you didn't finish your solve, so you it doesn't count. But this is just one type of plus two that you can get. So today I'm going to teach you how to combine all of them and get a plus 16, which means 16 seconds added onto your time. So why you'd want to do this is beyond me, but I'm putting the tutorial out there for anyone who wants to try it and, uh, at an official competition. So the first step is to go over your 15 seconds of inspection. What that means is when you uh, start, but before you start solving the cube, uh, you get 15 seconds to plan your first few moves. And if you go over that, you get a plus two. The second penalty is placing your cube outside of your mat uh, when, before you start the solve. The next step is to put your hands incorrectly on the timer. The correct way is to have them like this. This is incorrectly. The next step is to touch the cube. I can't reach because of my watch. Oh shoot, I just started the timer. The next step is to touch the cube before you start solving. Once you're in this state and you've gone over your 15 seconds of inspection, we can start solving. So, and once you've finished your solve, leave it one turn away from actually being solved, like I showed you before. Then, this is what you do next. So the first step is to stop the timer incorrectly with anything but your palms, and the next one is to have your hands on the cube when you stop on the timer. And the last step to get in your legendary plus 16 is to touch the cube. So here is what a solve would look like with a plus 16 included. So, um, first thing we do is when we start our inspection, uh, we go over our 15 seconds that we need. I've actually finished my inspection now, so um, what we're going to want to do, place the cube outside the mat, hands here, touch the cube before we start the solve. We've gone over our time. So now we can start solving. I'm going to leave that timer running because I can't be bothered to turn it off. This is actually turning out to be a really bad solve. And that's how you get a plus 16. So we got a 29 second solve, add 16 on and we have a 45 second solve, if I'm correct. But yeah, that is how you get a plus 16. This is the most useless tutorial ever. Um, I do not recommend going into competition and actually doing this, because uh, your solve might actually be disqualified, because another rule is that you're not allowed to get an intentionally bad time. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you later, goodbye.